So I've been asked to do a bit of more genetics talk. So today we're going to talk about bay bases, like this little girl here. So we're going to show you all the different bay bases that we have on property. There's a lot more out there that we just don't have on property. Um, but we're going to talk about some of the basic ones. So we're going to cover bays, bay duns, buckskins, dunskins, and bay roans that's what we've got on property. Hope you enjoy and if you have any specific questions don't hesitate to ask and uh, we will be working our way through all the different colors. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about bay bases in horses. So it's one of the base colors that horses will have. So we figured we'd start with little Viz here. So she is a typical bay Toby Anno. So what makes a bay is they have at least one copy of the extension gene in a dominant form, which is often called the black gene. And they have at least one copy of the agouti gene in the dominant form, and this is what makes them a bay. So it takes their black base and restricts it to their points, which include their mane and tail and legs. So with your Tobianos and many other white patterns, you might not necessarily have the black points because they have the white markings on their legs, but she is still genetically a bay. So she's your, your typical bay. So they're kind of like a brown color. They can be various shades as well. Um, so she's your typical bay base. And we're conveniently gonna talk about two other babies here that are also bay bases. So Benny is what we call a bay dun. So she has a bay base and she has one copy of the dun gene. So the dun gene is what gives her this dorsal on her back that you can see there. It gives them ear tips, which are a little harder to see on the foals, but you'll see them as she sheds out more. And if she didn't have the white down her legs, she would have zebra stripes on her legs. So she, we know by parentage that she has two copies of the black gene or the extension. She has two copies of the Tobiano gene, which gives her her white markings. And she has it, and she only has one copy of the agouti gene because her mother has none to give. So daddy gave his agouti. So she is what we call a bay dun or a zebra dun or just sometimes a dun. But she is a bay base with the dun dilution gene. Yes, you are. And then we have Phoenix, who is also a bay base. We know through parentage that he can only have one copy of the dominant extension gene or black gene because his mom has none to give. He may have one or two copies of the agouti gene. His mother had to give one because she's dominant homozygous. Dad is heterozygous, so he might have given one, he might not have. And for the Tobiano gene, we don't know until we get him tested, but he could be homozygous for that as well. But he also has the cream dilution, which makes him a buckskin. So when you have a bay base with one cream, you get a buckskin like this guy here. And yes, he is a buckskin, even though he doesn't have dark points, that's because they're covered by his white markings. So you can have any base color that can have Tobiano markings, but at the core, he is still a buckskin, but with a white pattern. So it covers those points. So normally a buckskin would have black legs from the knees down and the hocks down, but since he's got white on his legs, he does not, but he's got black mane where the color covers over his neck. So you can see here, he's got black mane. He's got black in his tail where he doesn't have a big white spot. And he's got this nice, pretty dark buckskin color, high handsome. So he is a buckskin Tobiano, so a bay based horse with the cream gene. So that's him. Got three different bay bases for our foals. So again, your typical bay, no dilutions or modifiers with a white pattern of Tobiano. We've got your buckskin Tobiano, so your bay with one cream. And we've got your bay dun Tobiano, so a bay with one dun gene. Oh, big yawns, Benny. 
Chica and her dirty self is also a bay-based Tobiano. So she's got black mane and tail where she doesn't have any white markings. She's got brown body coloration with that lighter brown around the nose. So she is a bay base with Tobiano. So we have two more bay bases in this paddock. So Pippi is your typical bay Tobiano. So again, where she has color over her mane, she'll be white. Otherwise, she's got black points. She's got a bit of black that you can see on that front knee where it doesn't get covered over by her white pattern. So she is your typical bay base and Tobiano pattern. So Glimmer is also a bay base. She has a Tobiano jean as well as the Overo jean, hence why she's got so much white. So she's got very little actual markings. So she's got a little medicine hat. She's got some eyeliner around her eyes, a little bit of brown on her muzzle, one little spot on her chest. She's got a little bit there, some black in her tail, but not much, and a bigger spot on this side. So even though she's got this much white, she is still considered a bay, but she's got the Tobiano and Overo jeans. Meanwhile, Nina here is a bay Tobiano. So she's just a bay base, no dilutions other than dirt right now. And uh, so she's got black in her mane and in her tail. And she's got the brown base body with the lighter muzzle. And just for fun, we'll talk about Holly B since she's in this paddock as well. So she is also a bay base with a cream jean. So that makes her a buckskin. She is a lighter colored buckskin what might many people might more consider to be the normal shade of buckskin but genetically she is a buckskin and so is phoenix so cruz here is also a bay base he's also very dirty right now but he is a bay base tobiano with one cream jean which makes him a buckskin like his son phoenix and again we've genetically tested him so even though he's dark he is a buckskin. He's very filthy right now, but he is a bay base. So you can see he's got black points. So his hair is black where he doesn't have white crossing his neck. His tail is a mixture of black and white. He does have some black on his legs above his white markings. You can see there how he has the black coloration and he's got a body dilution of buckskin from that one cream jean. Are you handsome, man? Yes, I know. You're beautiful. So we have another buckskin here. So again, bay base with the cream jean. She's quite dark, as you can see. So again, dark legs, dark points. She does have a faint dorsal, but that's just because she has the non-done one jean. You can see there, but it doesn't clearly go into her tail. It stops at the tail head. So she is a buckskin. So bay base with cream. So we have a bay base here with a cream jean. So this is your typical buckskin that a lot of people think of when they hear the word buckskin. So she's got the black points, black mane and tail, black legs, cream diluted body. So she is a buckskin, so a bay base with one cream. Meanwhile, we have Jazz, who is a bay dun, not to be confused with a buckskin. These are two different colored horses. They have different dilution genes. So Emmy has a cream dilution. Jazz has a dun dilution. So again, she's got the dark points like a bay. She's got zebra striping on her legs. She's got a dorsal down her back that extends into the tail. So she is a bay base with dun, while Emmy is a bay base with cream. So you can kind of look at her. She doesn't have a dorsal. Very faint here, but that's how you know that she's not a true dun because it doesn't extend into the tail and it doesn't carry the whole way up her back clearly and crisply. So she is a buckskin while Jazz is a done. So see the difference with her dorsal? Starts at her withers, carries all the way down, and into that tail. 
Prairie is also a bay base. She's a bay based dun, so she has one copy of the dun jeans. So you can kind of see the masking on her face, a little bit darker. She's got shoulder barring, which is common in dun horses. She's got zebra stripes on her legs. Again, a little harder to see with the longer coat, easier to see in the summertime. And she has a dorsal stripe down her back that extends into her tail. So she is a bay-based dun, just like Ezza and just like Benny. So Ezza here is also a bay base. She is a bay dun, so we can see her done markings a little bit more easily because she doesn't have any white that overrides it or covers it. So she's got a dorsal down her back that extends into her tail. And this is how you tell that they're a true done and not carrying the non-done one gene. So she has a dorsal that goes all the way from her withers, extends completely into the tail. So that's an indication of the dun gene. She has zebra stripes on her legs. So you can see those stripes there. They're not covered up by her white markings because she doesn't have any. She's got ear tips, which are just kind of starting to shut out now. So they're a little harder to see, but they can get these tips on the back of their ears if she'll turn her ear around for me. A little hard to see, but it'll be more noticeable as she sheds out her winter coat. They'll get this masking on their face. So they'll get this little bit of a darker color around their face. But she is a bay base and has diluted with the dun gene to become a bay dun. Trinity over here is a dun. So she's a bay base with a dun dilution. Also Tobiano jeans. So you can see she's got the darker face. She does have zebra stripes. Again, they're hard to see because the white kind of cuts them off. She's got a dorsal down her back. Let's see how it gets cut off by the white. And it doesn't go into her tail because she has no color across her tail. But she is a bay base with the dun gene. Then we have Stevie. So she is a bay base with Roan. Roan is what gives her these white flecks throughout her coat. So if she had dark colored legs, her legs would have remained black, but her body gets these Roan markings. So the lighter, whiter hair is mixed in. She can see she's got a black mane where she doesn't have color crossing over her neck. And she has that typical bay head. So again, darker head, lighter muzzle. So she is a bay roan Tobiano. Triss is an example of a double dilute. So she is also a bay base, but she has two copies of the cream gene, which dilutes her coat to this beautiful cream color. So she also has the Tobiano gene. It's a little harder to see her white pattern this time of year because she enjoys being filthy, but she is a Perlino Tobiano, so bay base with two copies of the cream gene. And that gives her this light dilution. Think of it kind of as putting extra doses of cream in your coffee, it gets lighter. So she's got blue eyes, which are also a part of the double dilute dilution. So her eyes actually got diluted from brown to blue. And she's got this lovely cream color. So you can kind of see her white markings there a little bit outlined. So she is diluted to a very light cream. But at the core, she is still a bay base. So Trip here is what we call a dun skin. So he's a bay base, but he has one copy of cream and one copy of dun. So it dilutes his coat to a lighter, creamy color. But he does have dun factor. It's hard to see because he's got a lot of white, but he's got a little dorsal there. He does have ear tips, which are pretty good to see if he's not trying to be too close and personal. And again, if he didn't have white on his legs, he would have zebra stripes on his legs. But he is a bay base with one dun and one cream, which is called a dun skin.